Hi, my name is Steve Etienne and welcome to 75 Days to 60. This is my 75 consecutive day video series that ends the day before I turn 60 years old. So <clears throat> I spent the last three and a half decades working on myself and making improvements and reading and going to live events and, and taking care of business. Now, if you've been following along, the goal, the ultimate goal, is to live a happy, vibrant, wonderful 130. So I guess that means I'm not even at halftime yet as I close in on 60. Well, <clears throat> if you've been following the show, I got a haircut a couple of hours ago. And while that in and of itself is not that big a deal, it's part of, of course, a bigger picture. The more I take care of myself, the better I feel. The more I take care of how I look, the better I feel. The better I feel, the more likely I am to go work out and exercise more. The better I feel, the better I look, the more I exercise, the better, uh, the more likely I am to eat well. <clears throat> so, if left to my own devices, if I just let nature run its course and do whatever Mother Nature felt like she wanted to do, I would look like a silverback gorilla. Now that is an evolution over the last 10 to 15 years. So I've got hair everywhere. My God. So while I got to shave my face, you know what else I got to do? And that's in the last 10 years. I got to shave my bloody ears. How ridiculous is that? I got to shave everything. My back, my arms, my face, my ears, inside of my nose looks like an asparagus patch sometimes. So, I want to take care of me inside, outside. And I'm serious right now. The better I look, the better I feel that I look, the more likely I am to continue with the process, to continue with the exercise, to keep eating well, to look in the mirror and go, eh, you're doing all right for closing in on 60. So I'm going to shave this part and then I'll be back. Well, men, listen up. Women have always been better at taking care of their appearance and taking care of their youth and protecting their youth than we have, my opinion. So, women, I get it. I mean, I live with one, and I know that when you do your hair and you do your makeup and you take care of how you look, you feel better. Guys, I think you owe it to yourselves to do a better job at that. Once upon a time, a uh, bunch of years ago now, a buddy of mine gave me a book called Younger Next Year. I suggest you go get that one and go read that. Put that one on the library, Younger Next Year. And one of the chapters, one of the topics was about dealing with the body hair because, oh my God, it's just insane. So that I trim. I've got a trimmer. I take care of that. You wouldn't believe what it would look like if I didn't. I told you, Nikki takes care of the back because you still want, I still want to see it. And the more I work out and the better shape I get in and the better I look and the better I feel, the more muscle definition I will have. And if I can see it, that's cool because then I make makes me feel better and I want to keep going forward. So my wife's in the same place. Take care of what's happening here. Take care of this. You know, take care of everything else and we're all good. So when my buddy Larry gave me the book, Younger Next Year, not that I'm plugging the book, but it helped me. There was this whole chapter on appearance and body hair and t and the, the younger you look, the younger you feel. And that's absolutely true. And I believe that because it's worked for me. And that's what this whole series has been about. What works for me. I know what works for me. And I honestly, I don't think we're that different. So if I didn't, do the personal grooming, which takes a longer and longer time every time I do it and the older I get. Honestly, I would look like a silverback gorilla by now. All the hair is gray and it's everywhere. So man, woman, doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Take care of how you look. The better you look, the better you're going to feel. The better you feel, the better you're going to eat, 
the better you feel and the better you eat, the more likely you are to work out. Because what's the goal? Don't die. And for me, I said that's 130. I know I'm going to die one day. It happens. It's going to happen. But I want it to be a long, long time from now. So that's Gorilla Grooming. That's where I am today. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you think this is helpful, you know what I'm going to say to you, right? So pass the link along to others. Help some people. And if you find this uh, encouraging or motivating, that's great. I'd love to hear from you. Strongafter60 at gmail.com. It's a Friday night. We're going out. We got tickets to a comedy show. That's pretty cool. So have yourselves a great night and uh, talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.